In other news, Malaysia's Foreign Minister Hishamuddin Husseini on Tuesday said he would summon China's ambassador in the country over the intrusion of 16 Chinese Air Force planes into the country's airspace. The Foreign Ministry is also likely to issue a diplomatic note to Beijing over the country's illegal military manoeuvre. Malaysia's Air Force said it scrambled jet jets on Monday to conduct visual confirmation after the Chinese aircraft flew within 16 nautical miles of Sarawak state of Malaysia's Borneo. It described the incident as a serious threat to national sovereignty and flight safety in the country. The military intrusion happened over the fiercely contested waters where China and Malaysia have overlapping territorial claims. China's embassy earlier said the planes conducted routine flight training and strictly abided by international law without violating the airspace of other countries. China has been pushing an expansive claim over the South China Sea through which about $3 trillion worth of shipborne trade passes annually. Brunei, Malaysia, the Philippines, Taiwan and Vietnam also have claims to various islands in the area and China's Coast Guard routinely warns foreign boats and aircrafts to leave what it calls its own territory. Xi Jinping wants to create a more lovable image of China, a bid by the Chinese leader to make new friends. But what is China doing to its existing ones, violating their airspace and territorial sovereignty? 16 PLA aircrafts were discovered flying in a tactical formation off the coast of Sarawak. Now the planes of the People's Liberation Army Air Force were tracked over Malaysia's maritime zone by the Malaysian Air Force on Sunday. They comprised of Ilyushin Il 76, Xi'an's Y-20 strategic transporters and had travelled in an in-trail tactical formation at between 23,000 and 27,000 feet. Malaysia tried to respond by reaching out to China. When they paid no heed to it, they sent their own jets. China calls it a routine training, saying they did not violate anyone's airspace. As far as I know, this is a routine training activity carried out by the PLA Air Force in the southern waters of the Nansha Islands. It was not targeted at any country. During the training, the Chinese Air Force strictly abided by the provisions of international law and did not enter the airspace of any other country. China has communicated with Malaysia on this issue. But Malaysia doesn't buy this claim. The country's foreign minister calls it a foreign intrusion. The planes flew near the contested Borneo Islands, while China claims the entire South China Sea under its nine-dash line. But it has been declared illegal by the International Tribunal. Malaysia too claims the parts of the sea around its two Borneo states of Sabah and Sarawak and China's new maneuver was to push its expansive claim in the region. It follows months of protests by the Philippines over the presence of hundreds of Chinese fishing boats in its exclusive economic zone.